God damn it, Capcom. Can't you just make more Resident Evil merchandise so I don't have to stoop to buying card games? So this is a kind of video that I'm not used to making. Uh, I figure why not? I bought this thing of a uh, Resident Evil deck building game because I need something Resident Evil to collect. So I figured I'd do an unboxing of this guy and see my thoughts on it because I'm mostly getting these just for the like Resident Evil like character cards. It's essentially my Pokemon cards is what I'm buying this for. But I am actually kind of interested to um, play the game. So here's the box. Box is pretty cool. Apparently Bandai made this. Got some characters on it. Nice artwork. It says two to four players. Uh, two to four players. Game time, 30 minutes to an hour. And ages 13 and up. Welcome to the Resident Evil deck building game. It's not very threatening. Start your adventure from a meager deck and build it up card by card to form a powerful inventory capable of taking down any infected being that you encounter. It's interesting, I don't really know how this game works. You're about to be thrown into a world that has been infected by a strange and mysterious virus that you must survive. Many people have ventured to the epicenter of the outbreak for different reasons, either to steal information slash technology for personal gain, prevent the outbreak, or to simply cause mayhem. Will you help the world escape the clutches of inevitable collapse or be an accomplice to its downfall? Play as your favorite Resident Evil characters with three different game modes. Story mode, versus mode, mercenary mode. Provide for endless hours of play. Interesting. So it says 250 cards and a game manual. I just opened this up and I already want to say I love it because I see... Yeah, <laughs> what are you buying? And of course on this side... My favorite Resident Evil character, Mr. Albert Wesker. So, off to just a great start. So, I have the game manual here. Got some pretty cool artwork of a zombie, probably from like Resident Evil 2. I'm going to just flip through it kind of real quick. October 2010, I guess that's the setup for the game. Here's how you play it. I will read this off screen. Oh, there's the Executioner. Resident Evil 1 cover art. Kind of, you know, I'm curious to play this, like I said. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that after I probably make this video. Probably try and get some friends together at some point and play this. I, I've never played a card game before. The only extent of that is, like, Pokemon cards, which I, you know, I haven't picked up in, like, 20 years. These are all from when I was a kid. Nothing too great. I used to have one of those, one of them holographic, uh, you know, Charizards. Now I think the best that I have is the Gyaradoses. Or Gyaradoses? I don't know. This isn't a Pokemon video! So I'm gonna take the cards out real quick. You can see we got the merchant there. We got a machine gun. Mr. Wesker. Uh, ammunition. And then... Uh, one of those little spider dickheads from Resident Evil 5. Apparently there's supposed to be... Isn't there supposed to be like a game map or something like that? No, it doesn't look like it. Or maybe? Is it in this? No. Alright, I, I was under the impression that there was a game map or something like that. It doesn't look like it or maybe that's like separate, comes separately. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to start with... I'm going to take the ones that I am the most interested in. I'm going to put them away. And then I'm going to save them for last. So let me open up these guys. Get some, some ASMR in this video, huh? Ooh. These feel nice. Like, these feel like they're of nice quality. Oh, yikes. There's a lot of... Alright. So there's machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Shotgun, rifle, 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 rifle. Mansion foyer from Resident Evil. There's a lot of duplicates. I don't know what the deal with that is. Mansion foyer. Deadly Aim. With Leon from Resident Evil 4. Also, Deadly Aim is the name of one of the games. Shattered Memories. That's weird because that's a Silent Hill game. But that's... Is that Claire? Yeah, I assume that's Claire. So, Shattered Memories, Escape from the Dead City, with some <clears throat> Resident Evil 4 artwork, there's a lot of those, Jesus. 
uh, Reload with Chris and Sheva. So that's one pack. I assume these are all like the equivalent of those uh, Pokemon packs with the like energy cards. Again, I've only ever seen Pokemon cards, so that's what I have to base everything on. And they all have the back with the Biohazard logo, and it says Resident Evil. Seems like they have different backs, too, deck building game. Maybe based on what kind of pack each of them are? I don't know. So let's get this guy open. So here we have Bui Kichua. There's a Licker. Nemesis, Hunter. Um, Mimicry Marcus from Resident Evil Zero. Ah, oh, there's Ouroboros from Resident Evil 5. Ah, Dr. Salvador from Resident Evil 4. Chain Gun or Gatling Gun Magini from Resident Evil 5. There's a Cerberus Dog. Uh, an El Gigante. Executioner. Some ammo. Jesus. Jesus, this ain't no Resident Evil game. Look at all this ammo. Okay, then. So that's a lot. Some cool stuff in that one. I, don't, I, don't, I wonder why there's only one nemesis. Let's go back to him. When this infected is revealed, each player takes 20 damage. That's pretty cool. 60 health, 40 damage, 5 decorations. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, and some of these have different backs, too. That looks like a door from a Resident Evil game, which is kind of neat. Um, so, there's that. On to the next pack. Whoops, Wesker fell down. We ain't done with the ammunition yet. So there's still a shit ton of ammo. Yo, what is up with all this? Yo, this whole pack was ammo. There's a green herb, bunch of green herbs, yellow herbs, first aid spray. Well then, there's a lot of shit in there. A lot of ammo. Don't know why you need that much ammo in a Resident Evil game. So let's get to what I would assume to be the character packs. Starting with this one that has the merchant on it. So we got the merchant, plus 20 gold, plus one card. I don't know what that means. So merchant, umbrella corporation, but all of it is just Wesker. That's kind of a funny looking card. Um, so a bunch of Wesker, back to back, Chris and Sheva. Item management, that's a fun one. Let's see. Trash one ammunition from your hand to gain another ammunition costing up to 30 gold more than the trashed card. I have no idea what that means. I haven't read the rules yet. Ominous Battle with Dark Side Chronicles artwork. Master, oh hell yeah, Master of Unlocking. Um, each other player reveals the top card of their inventory, you can gain one of the revealed weapons, all the other revealed cards are discarded afterwards. Interesting. So there's a bunch of Master of Unlockings, and there's Struggle for Survival, which again, Resident Evil 1 artwork. Time bonus, from Resident Evil 4 it looks like, Rocket Launcher Case, Gatling Gun Case, there's a Magini, Zombie, Zombie, Zombie Butcher, looks like the dude from Dead Rising, so there's that. So far there haven't really been any character packs, or just character cards, other than the, um, the Merchant. But I'm hoping that's going to change with this Wesker one. But you know what? Worst comes to worst, we only get Wesker. It's kind of, I'm fine with that almost. So here we got Albert Wesker. When Albert Wesker attacks a character or explores, you get plus 20 gold for that turn. Story mode, during your turn, choose a player. That player gets plus one explore and must explore at least once on their final turn. So there's the Wesker card. Ah, Leon S. Kennedy. All your pistol weapons get minus 10 ammo uh, requirement. All your pistol weapons can be used twice per turn. Claire Redfield. All your ammunition provides an additional plus 10 ammo. All your ammunition provides an additional plus 10 gold. Everyone's favorite, Sheva. I'm just going to breeze through that. Hey, there he is. Chris Benoit. Tell me that guy doesn't look like Chris Benoit. 
When Barry attacks a character or explorers, you can give plus five damage to number one weapon. To one weapon, Barry is using it in this term. All your magnum weapons get plus 20 damage. It also requires you to say, I have this and take a look at this every time you play that card. Here's Ada. When Ada explores, you can move at the top card of the mansion and move it to the top or bottom of the mansion. At the beginning, you can get plus one action and one buy. There's Krauser. Chris. Chris cannot be healed and cannot attack non-infected cards. One weapon Chris, Chris. Chris uses gets plus five damage for each infected he is fighting against. Ah, here she is, my wife. Jill Valentine. All your explosive weapons get plus five damage. All your explosive weapons go to your discard pile instead of being trashed after used. It's Rebecca. That seems to be out of the characters. There's a grenade. Grenade, grenade. A longbow. That submission. It's from Resident Evil 5. Combat knife. Whoo wee! There's uh, Chris's knife from Resident Evil 5. There's a six shooter, Magnum, Gatling gun, rocket launcher, handgun, 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 handgun. And that's all the cards. Also, it looks like the character cards have different backgrounds. You can see that. I think that's the mansion from Resident Evil 5 uh, Lost in Nightmares, I do believe. Um, which was based on the Spencer Mansion, so it could just be the Spencer Mansion. So those are all the cards that they came with. I'm going to take another look at this and see if, or sorry, take a look at this and see if there's a, uh, like a map or something that it comes with. All right, so it appears as though there's no, like, map. You just kind of put them like that, field layout. You can see, I guess, that that's representing a table. One person would sit there, 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 and there. Um, although it seems like it's, it can be played with, uh, like the minimum of, um, I, I already read it, two to four players, so anywhere between two to four people. I could play it with two people, I could play it with three people, four people, but, uh, yeah, so that, that's how that, that works. See, so yeah, it seems like everyone starts with a, uh, character card, and then you kind of build out through there to, I guess, signify the survival horror aspect of Resident Evil. They select a character. Oh, they randomly select a character. Damn, so I wouldn't be able to just play as Barry or Wesker each time. Hold on a second. Was the was the merchant a player like character? Uh, you know, he's not. That's really unfortunate. I, I would drive everyone crazy just going, <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> Come back anytime. Uh, so anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm probably going to just read these instructions, the enclosed instruction manual, uh, off screen. And I'll probably get some friends together to play this game. And if I enjoy it, who knows? I know there's a, a few expansions for this game. So maybe you haven't seen the last of the Resident Evil deck building game. Yeah, you know, the cards look cool. The box looks cool. As someone who is just looking pretty much for like a Resident Evil thing to collect, this uh, this ain't bad, I gotta say. You could probably spend your money on worse things, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so see you in the next video, where it'll probably be a more normal video than this. So see ya.